Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go through graphing with our review. So these are notes that you are given in class in which you are going to practice, or I'm going to show you how you are going to complete graphs, because we will be graphing density. So here um, on this paper, it talks about how we're going to graph this data. So whenever you have a graph, you have to remember that there are specific things you need to have. So when graphing, you have to label all the parts. So these are all the main parts you need for graphing. You need a title. You need to have your Y and your X axis labeled with their values. You need to have an independent variable, which is on the X axis, which an independent variable is the variable in which you change whereas the dependent variable changes because of what you have done to the independent variable, which is on the y-axis. So <clears throat> when graphing, what you do is you take your data and you find your range. So you're looking at the highest value of your range of the data that you are going to graph. Then you have to count the number of lines you have on your graph and you're going to take that maximum value and divide it by the number of lines that you have. And then you're going to round that number to a nice number, which will be the interval for each line. So I'm going to show you an example. So here I have data, which I have temperature and I have time. Okay, so time is always on the X axis, where in this case, since time is on the X, which is the independent variable, then the temperature is on the Y axis. So when we're looking for range, technically you're supposed to look for the high and low value. Well, to make it easier on you, just make your lowest value always zero, so that when you are looking at your high value, it'll be the high value minus zero. So really, when you're looking at your range, you're really just looking at the highest value. In this case, is 40. So for this particular graph, there are 10 lines. So I'm gonna take 40 divided by 10, which would be four, so that would make the increments for each line be worth four degrees Celsius. So when I put that in, the first line is four. I add another four to make eight, another four to make 12, and I just keep adding four until I get to the highest value, which in this case would be 40. And then here's my label, temperatures, and then the value, degrees Celsius. So same thing then for our X axis, which is time. So here, again, my highest value is 75. I take the number of lines I have, which again are 10. I take 75 divided by 10, which will make one, I'm sorry, 7.5 each interval. So I take 7.5, I add another 7.5, I add another 7.5, and I just keep adding 7.5 until I get to 75, because that's how many lines I have. And again, I have my label time with the unit. Then I'm going to start plotting these points. So again, you have your X value and your Y value. So here on my X, I'm looking at 15 and the Y value is zero. So therefore it's gonna be right here. Then I go to the next one, 30 seconds and 10 degrees Celsius, okay? So in this case, because there is no actual line, it's between the eight and the 12, it's an estimated value of around here on the 30 um, seconds line. Then the next one will be 45 and 20. And then we go to the next one and then our last point. So then once we have all our points plotted, then we're going to take our ruler and do our best fit line. So that is how you are going to graph. Now here is some information to help you know the main things that you need to know when graphing. So it the mnemonics is mix tux, where M stands for maximizing your graph. So what that means is you need to make sure that your entire graph is used. So here you can see that we use the entire graph when we plotted our points. IX stands for the independent on the X axis. So in this case, it's time. Then ES stands for equally spaced, meaning that every interval is the same value. So in this case, these are going by ones. Then the next one is T, it needs to have a title. 
In this case, the title is Temperatures in New York City. If you don't have a title, you will use the y-axis versus the x-axis. So in this case, it would be the degrees in Fahrenheit versus the days. Then the last, or the U stands for units and labels. That's what these are. And then the last one is CS, which stands for continuous smooth line, which is when our points are plotted, then we do our best fit line between those points.